Hey, what's up, y'all? Um, yeah, I'm laying down because I am so tired. Just a quick update. Man, I'm about to have a baby in like 12 days. <laughs> you know, at 32, it's not quite the same being pregnant as when I was like 25. I just feel... Being pregnant makes me feel older. Um, I don't know if I like felt older before, but carrying a baby and this 32 year old body, I know not that old, but it makes me feel a lot older because it's, it's a lot harder than I remember. <laughs> but man, like 12 days, that's like, I mean, I could, st I still can't even fathom the fact that I'm pregnant. Uh, I've just been in disbelief this entire pregnancy. Like, I can't believe I'm pregnant. Like, it, like it couldn't happen. <laughs> but um, really wasn't expecting it, anyways. But like, I'm still in awe. Like. I can't believe I'm pregnant, and and now it's like I have like twelve days left, <laughs> and it's like I'm about to have like a little baby in my arms. <laughs> but like, oh, but last night I like had like a total, totally legit, like full on contraction. Like I was like, oh my god, this cannot be Braxton Hicks. Oh. Like, nearly could not breathe. I had, I was like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> I had, like, two of those. I think they were, like, an hour apart, though. But then they stopped. And I was like, okay, I guess if this keeps happening over the next few days, maybe this baby wants to come a few days early. Or maybe she'll wait until my scheduled C-section. <laughs> but I don't know. But I'm just so tired. These last these last days are just long. The waiting is so long. Even it's just twelve days. It's so close, but it's so far away. <laughs> but anyways. I think the next time I post a video on here, it'll probably be after the baby is born. And you'll be uh, meeting a new baby. Alright, well, I gotta get some homework done because I need to make sure I have this homework and this testing done for my online class. Um, I think I need to do two tests to get a little ahead. So that I don't have to worry about it after I have the baby for a couple weeks. So I think I have to be, um, the current chapter is due this Friday. I want to have it done by tomorrow. And then by Sunday I want to have the following chapter done. All the homework and the test for the following chapter by Sunday, if not. If not, if not on Sunday, then Monday, no later than Monday. So I can go ahead and start on the following chapter and have that done probably by Thursday of next week. Because after Thursday of next week, I go in for my C-section that following Monday. And I'll officially be two chapters ahead. So I have the baby. Spring break is the week after I have the baby. Which is when the two chapters ahead I'll be will be done will, will be due, but since I will have already had them done, that gives me an extra week to not worry about class. So that will give me two weeks of not having to worry about class. <laughs> and because of all of the problems they've been having with the online system, I had a little less stress because they ended up canceling our midterm which was supposed to be the same week I was supposed to have a baby. So, I don't have to worry about midterms. Yay. 
no midterms. So that's a little less stress. So that will allow me to focus more on getting the homework and the chapter test done. Uh, I hope this is all worth it. I need to get into that program in the fall. Or else I will just be kicking myself in the butt trying to hurry up and get this junk done and end up having to wait an entire year to reapply for a program and not have any classes to take. Ugh. But anyways, we'll catch you guys next time.